Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sadia's Finances. My name is Sadia and here on this channel I talk all things about budgeting, weekly check-ins, um, sinking funds, saving challenges, investments, dividends, etc. So, last week of October and I have to say I am so, so pleased with myself. I haven't spent any money this week, like nada. I know I'm filming this on Saturday and I'll be uploading today as well, but I've spent nothing at all this week and I don't plan to spend any money today or tomorrow and the last day of October which is Monday so yeah I'm pretty really yeah I'm pretty chuffed with myself like it's been a while I think I've had like a no spend week and you know this week there have been like some <laughs> tough moments where you know I I think I had two pounds something left in my snack um like a binder account in Chase and I didn't want to spend that but do you know what I was being so lazy that I didn't want to walk to the shop in in the rain so I was like do you know what I'll leave it and I also needed some like female like, hygiene um, products but I'm just gonna leave that for next month now so in all honesty I've done a good job in not spending this week um but just a bit of a disclaimer I did spend uh, on my credit card I bought <laughs> one more um, saving challenge um, because I knew it wasn't going to go back into stock until I think after November maybe and I was like you know what I better get it now so I'm sort of preparing myself for 2023 but apart from that it's been like a no spend week essentially so hopefully the credit card bit doesn't really count because I pay that off next month definitely. I do when I ever spend on um, my credit card I always pay it off really I don't really um, allow it to you know transfer into the next couple of months essentially or pay the minimum amount I, I just don't like being in debt to anyone or any credit card companies etc if you want to borrow money um, which I don't really need to do but sometimes I just do um, I like paying it off quite quickly <laughs> but no more borrowing hopefully no more credit card spend next month but we'll see I'm going to try and do my best, you know, I've planned my budget out for next month, but we'll see what happens. But we're still talking about the last week of October, so let's get back to track. So yeah, no spend essentially this week, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I've got quite a bit of money left over. Last week, if you watched my um, week three check-in, you would know that I spent money on a dress from next. I think it's around £36. I returned that dress because it didn't fit properly. I wanted to get the size in extra small but unfortunately they don't have that in stock in store and I can't seem to get it online either to get it um, sent to the store. Um, so I'm going to wait for that until when it comes back in stock. But the money has been refunded so that money is still in my Chase account but when I do my sinking fund um, video that money I will take it out and use that to fund whatever else. But I've also put money aside next month uh, as budget so that if that dress does come back in stock, I'll purchase it essentially. But let's get into seeing how much money um, I've got left over in uh, my binder. I've seen like a lot of channels um, recently like get like new binders, like new setups, and I'm just like, yes, I'm I'm enjoying that so much at the moment, and I'm doing it as well. But I do in the future. I think I will get a new binder, but I'm just I don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> Oops, my camera's just went flying there. My tripod is a bit annoying. Um, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't, yep it looks like it's gonna go. I'm just gonna sort this out. Um, I think that should be fine now. Yeah I think that should be fine. It's a bit, yeah it's a bit like leaning on the edge. I don't know why but I'll sort that out once I've done this video. Um, yeah, so I don't want to be wasting on buying too many things and not using them all. And I want to continue using this binder. It might be that I need to get some nicer wallets or whatever. Or just, I just want to make this look like nice so that I use it a bit more better. Like I've got my sinking funds and saving challenge binders and I do like those. I just maybe need to switch it up things. But, um, but then if I'm having too many products then what am I going to do with this? And I could sell it online or just give it to someone and be like, just pay for postage etc but yeah I don't know but oh well let's not dwell into that just yet I'll, I'll leave that for the future it'll be in my to-do list somewhere <laughs> in the memory <laughs> so groceries I have 10 pounds left over let me just put this here 
you notice that I had to rip this, um, cut this last week because I ended up taking this off by accident and then it was stuck shut and I couldn't open it. So that was annoying. Um, takeaway has nothing left because I spent it last week. Dining out, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I got um, 50 pounds left in here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I didn't go out anywhere to eat this month, um, which is a surprise. Usually I like eating out. And another annoying thing is that my camera battery is starting to flash. About a couple of minutes ago, it had two bars, so bloody hell. Video's not going too well. <laughs> I'm only like five minutes in. Personal care, I'm pretty sure I've got £20 and some change left, about £20 to 61p. But that 61p will go into my leftover pot in Chase and a £20 I'll take out. Clothing, um, it's £100, the £36 should roughly be in my bank about now. So I'll be taking that money out as well, so that's £100 left over. Petrol. I've done good this month. I am using my car less because I'm no longer dropping my sister off um, to work. She's got her own car, which is nice. So I've got £20, £40, £50 pounds left over, which is a good amount. All this money will be used... Um, for my sinking funds and um, saving challenges. I haven't made a, a lot in side hustles um, this month, which is a bit disappointing, but sometimes you just feel, feel a burnt out and sometimes it's just not many like testing available, you're not getting accepted for market research, etc. And surveys do take a lot of time. £20 left in public transport. I didn't go anywhere to London this month. And I think everything else is pretty much um, empty. Yeah, pretty much everything is empty, but let's count and see how much I essentially have left over. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, so 130. And I've got 20 pounds left in my personal wallet, um, personal care wallet, and around 100 pounds in clothing. So that's 120. So this was 130, that's 250 pounds off me, which is actually a decent amount and hopefully this will be enough to fund everything that I needed to fund um, for my sinking funds. So yeah, I hope you guys have had um, a great last week of October. Let me know whether you have any um, no spend days you've had this month and whether you managed to achieve a no spend week. I wasn't planning to achieve a no spend week, but I managed to do so. So I'm really, really happy with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It is a short video, so hopefully that's good for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, until next time, bye-bye.